That shooting came within hours of two town hall meetings tonight hosted by council members addressing safety in Louisville. Police Chief Erica Shields and others welcoming questions from the public. WHS 1119's Isaiah Kim Martinez breaks down the latest demand for solutions clean up some of the uh, injustices going on. Some are calling gun violence Louisville's number one concern. Neighbors like Frank Anderson. Nowadays, if you're young, you do not have a chance to be a child. Driving from West Louisville to Eastern Jefferson County at UofL Shelby campus to hear what Police Chief Erica Shields has in the works. But where we won't get there, is if we're just divided and digging our heels. Metro Council members hosted Chief Shields, representatives from the mayor's office, safety advocates, and the public for a town hall focused on ways to reverse a dangerous trend. Already 2021 is the second deadliest year in Louisville's history. Doubling down, Chief Shields saying stolen guns and officer shortages are some of the biggest contributors. The proliferation of illegal guns has driven shootings across this country for the last, I don't know how many years. And a major dip and arrests from 2019. When the proactive enforcement by police stopped, crimes went straight up. The panel talked about prioritizing children. Older gang members will recruit younger kids because they know if they're caught, they're not going to get prison time. Over in the Highlands at the very same time, another public safety meeting hosted by city leaders. The crux of all of these um, is the engagement with that high risk, identified high risk individual. Also addressing issues circled around thefts and recent shootings happening around bars in the area. Both invited questions from the audience written and read aloud. Meanwhile, Anderson just came to listen. I think there could be a bet. There's a better way for us to all live together. The conversation has often become divided over whether the police presence should be stronger or dialed back. Anderson tells me there's a middle ground. I feel that we do need police not with a heavy hand, but police to be there if we need them. For the ultimate goal, he hopes is still attainable. And we're told another town hall on public safety is planned for November somewhere in southeastern Jefferson County, just like this one. But the exact location and time haven't been revealed just yet. Doug. All right, Isaiah, thank you very much.